Hey, did you guys know TireRack.com has brand new waiting rooms featuring my favorite coffee? Homebrew, y'all. They got toast. A picture of me and Russell. Here's a weird light picture. My wife likes it. And check out the view to the service bay. That's Rudy. He's working hard. TireRack.com now offers contact-free mobile installation, turning your living room into your waiting room. TireRack.com, the way tire buying should be. Say hey, Russell. Hi, I'm Pat Hackett, and all of us at Hackett & Associates are so proud to serve as legal counsel to Good Shepherd Montessori School. We've been serving as legal counsel since the founding of the school, and we love the devotion of the school to child-centered learning and to peace. So congratulations, Good Shepherd Montessori School, and Bonnie Baxter, the 2021 Caravalli Award winner. So onward we go in the wonder of children and the ongoing dance. Thank you so much. Toward the end of her life, Mary Beth asked her priest about heaven. He said, you've had glimpses of it in your lifetime, times when you feel most at peace and most joyful. Mary Beth replied, like golf. The family of Mary Beth Driscoll sends congratulations to Bonnie Baxter on being honored with the Kiravali Award. Hello, and welcome to our first ever online Caravalli fundraising event. We are so excited for the opportunity to give you a glimpse into the day-to-day -day activities right here at Good Shepherd Montessori School. From the bottom of our hearts, we wanna thank you for taking time out of your day and joining us for this event. Today, we'll be taking you on a journey, highlighting our mission, our values, the facilities, and methods for guiding young hearts and minds on their own educational paths. We'll also be presenting the 2021 Caravelli Award winner. Good Shepherd Montessori School created the Valley of Light Award in order to shine a light on the great people who impact our community of children. Maria Montessori, who was born in the town of Caravelli, Italy in 1870, believed that in order to achieve peace in the world, we must first look to the child. This award takes that seriously. The work of local community leaders to create a better life for children can, indeed, achieve a peaceful community and world. The Caravelli Award celebrates that Montessori foundational belief. Following this award presentation, a selection of Good Shepherd Montessori School students will be performing a choreographed dance in honor of our award winner. We hope you'll enjoy your evening with us with your snack basket. All of these food items were generously donated by Omamas, JJ Angus Cattle Company, South Bend Hala Company, Five Shores, and Rafa Roast. Thank you so much to those local businesses for their generous food donations. We would like to remind you that all proceeds from this event tonight will go towards making a Good Shepherd Montessori School education affordable for all. If you'd like to make a contribution to our mission, please click the link below. Also, our silent auction is currently open. Auction bidding began this morning and will close tonight at 10 p.m. Eastern. These auction items range from handcrafted goods to art to camping gear and even gardening equipment. Feel free to take a look and place your bids and good luck. Again, thank you for joining us tonight for our 2021 Caravelli fundraising event.
Hello, I'm Dan Driscoll, and I'm the head of school at Good Shepherd. Just about 20 years ago, a group of friends established Good Shepherd as a commitment to put into practice their shared desire to build a better, more just world. So Good Shepherd was forged in friendship, connection, and relationship. And from the beginning, we embraced Dr. Maria Montessori's overarching vision to create a world at peace. Taking this lofty goal to heart, we continue to focus every day on our unique mission. Good Shepherd is a faith-filled, authentic Montessori community that promotes the common good. The dignity of the human person is central because of the explicit belief that all persons are created in God's own image and likeness. The preferential option for the poor and vulnerable undergirds our work, nurturing a significant level of socioeconomic diversity will indeed begin to create that better, more just world. We waive a significant amount of tuition income to work to ensure this unique school is accessible to all. Here, we establish trust and respect for the child. When our children live with such respect, they will return that respect to others. So we offer them the opportunity to resolve their own conflicts. We give them the tools to be able to address their issue head on, talk it through, reconcile, and then move forward. They learn how to be in community together. The child will encounter a truth here that all things, living and non-living, are irreversibly interconnected across time and space. The child is empowered to see that there is a very real role that child plays in the universe and that that child makes a difference. Our question for them is not only, what do you want to be when you grow up? But more importantly, how is it that the universe is entirely different right now because you exist. So here at Good Shepherd, we teach all the important lessons in the core academic subjects. The catechesis of the Good Shepherd, science, language, culture, math, art, music, and the rest. But what we are truly about is forming human persons who care. Maria Montessori taught us to remember we are educating the human potential itself. And that potential is an encounter with peace. This year, of course, has been different than any other year that came before it. We were challenged to create a safe and healthy environment for children while still maintaining the very best standards as a Montessori school. We invested time, expertise, and financial resources in creating this environment. We bought air purifiers and portable sinks. We bought tents for outdoor learning and fans to bring fresh air inside. We cleared areas of the building to be able to spread out. And we divided the building itself into sections so that we could be careful about close contacts. We created smaller pods and lengthened the farm to a full day. We got used to Google Classroom so we could pivot easily into distance learning. And of course, the children rose to the occasion. They eagerly settled into the routines because they knew the value of being here and not on a screen at home. It was great to be able to have them together in person in school. They moved with grace into this unusual year, exhibiting the joy we have grown accustomed to. Much of the time was spent outdoors, including many picnic lunches. Their academic work remained solid despite these challenges. We opened the school in 2002 with 16 children, and we have since grown by tenfold. The pandemic caused our enrollment numbers to drop fairly significantly this year as parents tried to find a way that felt safe for their family. But Good Shepherd is resilient. Already next year's enrollment is increasing, and 
We are excited about our plans to open a second primary classroom the following year. So from one classroom of children ages six to nine to seven classrooms of children ages three to 14, Good Shepherd has made an impact on this community and has worked toward creating a world at peace. Thank you for being here tonight and enjoy the rest of the evening. Hi, I'm Barbara Garland. For 16 years, I have been a guide at Good Shepherd. It's an amazing place to be for a lot of reasons, but I want to tell you about some of the reasons that have to do with the Montessori philosophy. Our prepared environment, which Maria Montessori said, includes the preparation of the teacher as saint, scientist, and servant, creates a home-like environment for the children to work in comfort. All the materials are placed carefully and systematically in the environment so that order and ease of use are present for the children. As the children enter the classroom environment, they are greeted by name by the guide and assistant to note their individuality and uniqueness as a person. They enter a multi-age classroom in which the younger child can see in real time presentations that inspire the internal motivation to do the works necessary to get to that particular, more advanced presentation. Follow the child is a statement always associated with the Montessori philosophy. As a guide, I look to the individuality of each child and meet them where they are, academically, socially, spiritually, and physically, and present works that fit their needs. We celebrate the success and moments of failure that help the child learn. There's another beautiful work that takes place in the Montessori classroom, and that is conflict resolution. We want the children to learn at a young age how to resolve conflicts so that they will be experts in doing this all their lives. At Good Shepherd, we use the Peace Wheel that gives step-by-step -step instructions on how to resolve a conflict using I statements, brainstorming, coming to a solution, and giving a sign of peace. Eventually, as the child matures, the peace wheel is no longer needed because the steps are part of who they are. If you haven't yet visited a Montessori classroom, I encourage you to do so and see for yourself the beautiful things that happen here. I appreciate I was able to share some of the many gifts of Montessori with you.
Thanks, his dad. Bye, Catherine. To dance is to live in a very special way. Whether you've known Bonnie for a few minutes or for many years, you've undoubtedly heard her use this phrase. In my opinion, these words summarize Bonnie. Bonnie's house is filled with artwork and movement that incorporates dance. She magically dances through life, planning creative activities with her grandchildren and her young dancers, as well as her seasoned dancers and faculty. As a child, I had the privilege of learning from Bonnie and dancing in some of her performances. And while I loved my time with Bonnie and her talented dance instructors, it was not until I was the mother of children who danced with Bonnie that I could fully appreciate her amazing talent. This woman does it all. The similarities between the teaching methods of Bonnie Bolini baxter and Dr. Maria Montessori are many. Both of these educators include a child-centered approach to teaching. As Maria Montessori did with her students, Bonnie sees her dancers as individuals full of creativity and talent. The philosophies of Maria Montessori and Bonnie Bolini baxter do not require students to fit into a preconceived mold. Rather, their philosophies help celebrate the unique talent of each student. From a toddler's first experience in one of Bonnie's creative movement classes to an advanced dancer in the Michiana Dance Ensemble, Bonnie encourages students to help choreograph their own movements and dances, thus allowing her students to develop a sense of pride in their unique abilities. Bonnie truly helps each of her dancers to live in a very special way. It is a pleasure to serve on the 2021 Kiravali Committee and to help celebrate Bonnie's many gifts to our community. Thank you, Bonnie, for bringing joy to so many people. Many years ago, I coined the phrase, dreams and wishes can become a reality. At age eight, I took my first dance class and even then I felt a passion for movement and dance. It was modern, which was rather interesting that I would start with modern dance. I studied modern ballet through high school, and then I headed to college. Another strong interest of mine in love was science. Now I knew if I majored in science, I'd always be able to get a job, and therefore I could support my dance journey. And so I did. I returned from New York with the idea of creating a school dance center that would offer quality training both in modern and ballet with a fine faculty and also introduce a strong creative movement program because I felt like it was very important that children could feel comfortable moving in their own vocabulary and not just a dance vocabulary. That they would learn through that a sense of self-confidence, they would learn more about body alignment, increase their energy and stamina and at the same time work with others in the space. Then a group of us started South Hall Dance Theater. Now we offered classes also which were more vigorous, more rigorous for those who wanted to perhaps move on into a career in dance. During that time, I felt I wanted children to dance for children and children to create. And so over the years, we developed a program for youth concerts where more than 20,000 children a year came to see children dancing on the stage. Yet another wish was coming to reality. I also do programs going out into the community for preschools, again exploring the joy of movement and the creation of movement in the space. After I left South Island Dance Theater, I took a project that was on the back burner, the Children's Dance Workshop, where modern dance would be the predominant offering with ballet as a support, but always with creative work being woven within and also encouraging dancers to experience not just movement, but also to experience theater arts and crafts. So they learned about making of sets, what all it takes for backstage, to have a greater appreciation what really was involved for a total production. At a very early age, I had decided I loved taking class. I was fine with performing, but I was always most interested in pursuing the more information on the craft of choreography or the making of dances and the art of presenting well-disciplined technique classes but making them still joyful. A mission continues. 
as an art form should always be evolving. And so it evolves enhanced by wonderful colleagues that surround me who share similar visions. And of course, those wondrously creative creatures, the children. I thank them. There is no greater joy for any teacher than to see their, their students flourish and move on. On with the dance. And to dance is to live in a very special way. I am so delighted that all of you have come to join me in my celebration. We have to make a celebration dance, don't we? Well, dance is moving and talking without using words. So first, we have to learn a dancer's greeting. Can everybody go in second position? And you got your right hand ready? You're gonna bring your hand up and around. That's greeting. Now let's do it with a knee bend or plie. Dancers greeting to the audience. Good. Well, we have to get our bodies warmed up. Um, every dancer has to do plies. Plies are the dancer's breakfast. Just as your mom, your grandmother, or you eat breakfast, so do dancers. It doesn't matter if they're five or 55. So let's put our feet in first position. You're gonna put your heels together and turn your toes out. Let's drop our arms down. Let's present ourselves. And these are little knee bends. Let's go and plie and straight, and plie and straight, and plie and straight and plie. Oh, you're doing a great job. Well, let's try something with some music. That's a little more exciting. Are you ready, friends, back here? Thank you for joining me. Here we go. Everybody reach up high. And drop your arm. Now roll down your spine. Can you put your fingers on the floor and try to look down at your knees? That looks good. Can you uncurl? Let's reach up again so high. Drop your arm. Roll down your spines. Try to get those fingers down. Look at your knees. Now uncurl. How about some head circles? Stand up tall. And hip. And hip. And hip. And hip. How about arm circles? Circle and circle, and circle, and circle. Can you add a jump? Jump and jump and circle now. Circle, and circle, and three, and four. That looks great. Now can you just do some jumps and turn around? And jump and turn and jump and turn and jump and turn, jump and turn, jump and turn and jump and turn. Let me see you skip around the room and skip anywhere. Everybody knows how to skip or gallop if you wish. Keep it going. Let's come back to place. Are you ready? I think it's time to do our celebration dance. All right. Are you ready? I hope you're ready. I'm excited. So let's try it. Everybody good? Well, we need to put on our party hat. Got a party hat on? Mine is very fancy. I'm gonna walk. Can everybody do a dancer's walk? Anywhere you want. Good job. How about some confetti? Grab some confetti. Let's throw confetti. Jump and throw that confetti. And jump, 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 jump. Uh oh, we need some balloons. Let's blow up a balloon. Big and round. Can I see you flying and floating and flying balloons? Yes. Let me see you twirl balloons and twirl. Oh, that's good. Time for our celebration dance. Do anything you want. Let's move and move big. Keep it moving. Move in high space, middle space, and low space. Can you freeze in a happy shape? And let's 
say thank you, thank you, present yourself, and take a bow. Thanks for joining my celebration. I had fun. I hope you did. I like Miss Lani because she's she and she's perfect like she is. And I like she because she is like she is. That's why she's perfect. She's perfect for me like she is. I've been dancing with Miss Bonnie my whole life and she has a really unique way of teaching. She's taught me that dance isn't just an activity I go to three times a week, but it's a lifestyle. It's something I can fully immerse myself in and enjoy. Miss Bonnie is the kindest, most creative dance teacher that I've ever had. I'm so grateful to have had her for all these years. I've been dancing with Miss Bonnie since I was in kindergarten, and she's been the best dance teacher in my entire life. I definitely love dancing with Miss Bonnie, and I think she's a really creative and fun teacher. Teaching with Bonnie is an absolute joy. Her respect for childhood and for children and their creativity is inspiring. I've learned so much from her deep knowledge and understanding of American modern dance. And the way she brings that to children of all ages is absolutely incredible. Bonnie, one of the traditions of Kiravali is that we are, the, the award itself is a work of art. And so this year, we have, uh, present, we're presenting you with a garden bench, but we couldn't bring the garden bench here. So your student, Elise de Sommer, painted uh, an image of that garden bench for you. That's and amazing. So that's what we're giving you here, and then you will have your, your bench as well. And on the bench is a quote from someone I believe is a favorite of yours, uh, Merce Cunningham. Oh. And so that's going to be on your bench at home. So, so I want to thank you for all that you've done for the children of this community. And I'm so, I'm so honored to be able to offer you the Kiravali Award for 2021. This is fabulous. This is so touching. Um, Merce Cunningham was a teacher of mine for many years and certainly one of my most moving forces in my pursuit of dance. And to have a student create this for me is simply unbelievable. Thank you. I'd like to thank Good Shepherd Montessori for this grand award. And the gift is beyond words. It's so touching. I'm humbled by this. I'd like to thank Anne for such a wonderful introduction. Our families have long had a wonderful relationship that I cherish. Needless to say, families are important, and my parents were fierce in finding an opportunity for me to pursue my passion in dance. My brothers were stuffed into the back of a station wagon several times a week so Bonnie could get dance. They continue to be my advocates, and they are artists unto themselves now. My amazing children and their their spouses have been an inspiration and they continue to enlighten me. And then there's my good husband of 50 years who has always been there by my side, who has been my advocate, my crusader, and the ultimate sounding board. Thank you, Bax. It has been my pleasure and privilege to be associated with so many talented dance colleagues and community leaders. They have offered words of wisdom, brought energy to me and encouragement. They are gems in our community. And all those parents and families who jumped on the bandwagon with me, and that bandwagon sometimes turned into a roller coaster ride, and they often heard me say, 
we are progressing when it looked like everything was falling apart. And they'd often hear me say, I think, no, I know we can do it. Thank you. And of course, the children, the thousands of children that have allowed me the opportunity to work and create with them, now only highlighted and frosted with my 10 extraordinary grandchildren. They have gone on adventures with me, moving in space and time with energy and delight. I am thankful that I have been allowed to fulfill my dreams and wishes. Thank you, children. Thank you. Well, that's it. Thank you for taking the time to join us on this journey. Remember, all proceeds raised from our Caravelli events go towards making what you've seen tonight an affordable experience for all. If you've been inspired to come alongside Good Shepherd Montessori School and would like to make a contribution, please click the link below. Don't forget, our auction will be closing tonight as well at 10 p.m. Eastern. Be sure to get in your bids for a chance to win. Lastly, we would like to give a huge thank you to the students, the parents, faculty, and staff involved for helping make this year's event such a success. And to our viewers like you, thank you for joining us. Thank you for participating and making this Caravelli one to remember.
Thank you.